Right, yeah, hello everyone. Welcome back to uh, the channel. This is The Bosch Reacts and it's finally here. As I promised, uh, I'm going to start doing movie reactions and we are starting this evening with the 1976 classic Taxi Driver. Coming your way now. The Bosch. Yeah, so hello everyone and welcome back and uh, as I say, uh, something brand new for me, never done one of these before, um, so this is as new to me as it probably will be to you. There's loads and loads of um, people out there reacting to movies, uh, I don't think I've seen anybody reacting to this one, um, never really looked to tell you the truth. But the first one we are going to start with um, in the series of movie reactions is the 1976, uh, as I say, classic from Martin Scorsese, uh, and it's Taxi Driver. I don't really know a lot. As I say, I've never watched this movie in my entire life. Um, it was out in 1976, so I would have been round about 14, 15, something like that when this was out. Um, I do know Martin Scorsese directed it. It's got Robert De Niro as the lead artist. Um, I think Jodie Foster makes an appearance somewhere in the movie. Don't know. And the only other thing I know about it is is this is the movie that has the that classic line, um, something along the lines of "Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me?" Something like that. Yeah. Never seen it. I know that this is the movie that references that, or the the movie that this originally came from. So I'm looking forward to seeing that little scene. Um, yeah, I do know uh, it's about um a Vietnam veteran. Um, who takes a job as a taxi driver in New York City. That's basically all I know about this music. It is constantly in the top 10 of the best movies ever. So why I've never watched it, I have absolutely no idea, but we're going to get into it now. If you do enjoy these movie reactions, then please leave a comment in the, uh, the little box down below telling me what movie you would like me to react to next. As I said, I posted a video a couple of weeks ago about what I was going to be doing with the channel. Certain movies I have never, ever gotten around to watching. This is one of them. The Godfather, uh, Godfather movies are another series. I've never watched any of those. Um, Schindler's List, another classic. Never watched any of that. But I want to um, try and get away from the mainstream ones, the one that everybody's doing reactions to. Um, so if the, as I say, if there's anything you want me to react to, put it in the box down below and I will be happy to take a look. Anything, it's action movies, comedies, sci-fi. I'll even watch a love story if you want me to. I'm not bothered. Um, yeah, so I'll tell you what, we'll just uh, get right on into it. So here it is uh, with Taxi Driver. I'm going to put my headphones on for this because uh, get better sound. Right, let's see if we can get comfortable and enjoy this movie. I've got a drink, but I haven't got any snacks. No popcorn, no crisps or anything. And it's only blackcurrant and lemonade. Robert De Niro. I love the dramatic movie uh, music that you get in these uh, these old seventies movies. Things like this, um, and the the Dirty Harry movies and things like that. It's lovely, great music. I love it. How young does Robert De Niro look in this? So what is it? You need an extra job? Are you moonlighting? Come on. I just want to work long hours. Just moonlighting. <laughs> look, uh, just fill out these forms and I'll be checked back tomorrow. That's your plan. Take the car out to 58 Street, please. Hey, that's a funky shirt. <laughs> All the animals come out at night. Whores, skunk pussies, buggers, queens, what? fairies, dogs, junkies. Skunk pussies? Sick. What? Menial. I go all over. I take people to the Bronx, Brooklyn. I take them to Harlem. I don't care. Don't make no difference to me. Does this all these places are just words and names 
fictional to me because I tell you what, I have actually been to New York um, probably about 12, 15 years ago, something like that. Um, I quite liked it, but I went to Boston as well. I preferred Boston. Sorry if you live in New York. Sorry, I just did. Organ in his eyes? Organized. 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 O r g a n e z i e z d. Oh, you mean organized? All right, there's uh, not a lot happened as yet, and I think it's going to pick up as it goes through the movie. But uh, things I've noticed, it is quite a dark and intense movie. Um, the the character. Uh, Travis Bickle seems to be a bit of a loner, been in the Marines in the uh, Vietnam War and all that. Um, he's an insomniac. I'm just looking forward to see what happens next. What the hell is he having for breakfast? Yeah, there's something not quite right about Travis. It's a fine line between creepy and crazy. That guy can sell anything. June 29th. I gotta get in shape now. Too much sitting has ruined my body. Too much abuse has gone on for too long. From now on, it'll be 50 push ups each morning. I'm wondering, do you think the narration is he's writing a journal or a diary or something like that? That's what it sounds like to me. From now on, it'll be total organization. Every muscle must be tight. Wow. Wow, he's a proper little inspector gadget, isn't he? Here it comes. Here it comes. Shit heel. I'm standing here. You make the move. You make the move. It's your move. 
trying you. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? That's what I've been waiting for. Holy crap! That telly's gonna go. Please don't do this to me. I love him. Told ya. How old are you? You don't wanna tell me? What's your name? Easy. Well, that's not any kind of name. Well, that's easy to remember. Yeah, but what's your real name? I don't like my real name. Well, what's your real name? Iris. Well, what's wrong with that? That's a nice name. Huh, that's what you think. Travis has got a thing about uh, asking women the real names, hasn't he? I wonder what that's all about. Oh, well, look, can I see you again? <laughs> that's not hard to do. No, I don't mean like that. I mean, you know, regularly. This is nothing for a person. He's not a bad guy, really, is he? Right, how about breakfast tomorrow? tomorrow? I mean, he cares about her, I think. Oh, -ho. that's a funny look. He definitely looks a bit crazy there. Oh, yes, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Look at that crazy look on his face. He's going for it. Here we go. <laughs> I've seen him. No, he doesn't know our name. Doesn't know our name. Oh, don't make him mad. 
fuck out of here, man. Get out of here. Stuck on this. Oh, oh, oh. Who's just shot him and he's just going to go and sit there? He's going to go and see Iris. Hey! Oh! Oh, he shot him in the neck. He's making sure. What the hell? Was not expecting all of that. Oh, I think you're out of bullets. Holy crap! Right, Taxi Driver from 1976, let's discuss. Right, yeah, so, um, Taxi Driver 1976, all in all, not a bad movie. Um, it was, I found it very, very slow. Um, they did sort of drag out certain parts. I know you're trying to um, get a feel for the character, uh, you're trying to get to know him. Um, the, the character of Travis Bickle, he's, as I say, he's an he's a ex-Marine, obviously in the um, Vietnam War, something like that. Um, a little bit mentally unstable. He's an insomniac. Um, he drives a taxi to, you know, just try and pass the time, really, making quite a bit of money as well, which is how he can afford the guns. Um, he says in a few sections that he, he wants, and he, he says to the, the, the guy that was running for president as well, he wants to clean up the town. He wants to, you know, to take all the scum off the streets. So, in a way, he's a pretty good guy. But the way he goes about it is completely wrong. Um, and I mean, as I say, yeah, it's a very, very slow movie. Um, sort of builds up towards the, the, the end. He's sort of a hero and an anti-hero at the same time. He's trying to find more in his life, something something to stimulate him. I couldn't get the connection um, with when he first met Sybil Shepherd. No, sorry, when he first met the, the lady in the cinema and he's asking her a name. Then he was asking Sybil Shepherd her name and... Um, Jodie Foster. He's got a thing about getting to know people's first names. Couldn't quite get where that panned out in the movie. 
Yeah, so basically just under uh, like a, an hour, two hour, just under two hours movie, um, sort of slowly, slowly, very slowly building up to sort of 10 minutes climax at the end. Um, the, the the scenes where the, the shooting and all that, it's not as dramatic as you would see in, in other movies. You know, there's, there's no falsification of what... Uh, the, the way I read it was that it was exactly how guns would sound if you heard them real. It was just like a, when he shot the, um, the the guy on the stairs in the stomach, it was just like a, it was more like a cap gun, like a pop. Uh, and to me, that's the way the guns are taught. All the time. Um, uh, th that seemed a little more realistic and, and quite gory as well, especially when he was uh, shooting the guy's fingers off, putting the knife through his hand. I mean, the film itself, it's it's dark and it's seedy. It's probably typical New York as it was back in 1976. Don't know. I live in Britain. As I say, I've only ever been to New York once. Um, but it's quite depressing in parts. And you really want Travis to to be good. You, you want him to do well. But in the end, I think he just ends up like the others, just like an, another, you know, punk on the streets of New York. Um, so all in all, not a bad film. Would I watch it again? Probably not. Um, I don't... I, I can see why it's always in the top ten. It's a very emotional film. But it, I would probably give it about a, a six out of ten on my movie scale. Not that I've got a movie scale, but if I had one, I'd give it about a six out of ten. So that's my uh, reaction to uh, the 1976 classic Taxi Driver. Tell me what you think, uh, if you've seen the movie, what you thought of the movie. Uh, but most of all, put a little thing down in the box there. What movies would you like to see me react to next? Looking forward to it. And uh, take care, everyone. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Blah, blah, blah.